the Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. The sun was still high in the sky as Cleopas and his friend, who we'll call Micah, started their journey to the town of Emmaus. The day was hot and their sandals kicked up dust off the hard packed road. They were exhausted by the difficult events of the past few days. Seven miles. We'll make it by dinner time. You believe it? All that stuff the women said when they came back from the garden. I don't really feel like talking. What if it's true? Have you ever seen a dead man come back to life? Lazarus? You didn't see that. You heard about well, it. Well, lots of people saw it. Oh, don't look, but fast walker behind us. Uh, just get over. He'll pass. He's slowing down. You know him? I'm not looking. That makes it weird. Nope. Don't know him. Great. Now he knows we're talking about him. Way to make it awkward. Hi. Hi. The man had caught up and now matched his pace to theirs. So what are you talking about as you walk along? Cleopas and Micah exchanged a surprise glance. Cleopas slowed to a stop. You're the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know? Don't you know about the things that have happened there in the last few days? What things? The man began to walk again, as if he expected Cleopas and Micah to join him. What do we do? Go with it. <clears throat> the things about Jesus of Nazareth, he was a prophet. He was powerful in what he said and did. But the chief priests and our rulers handed Jesus over to be sentenced to death. And they nailed him to a cross. Yeah. We'd hoped he was the one who was going to set Israel free. This all happened three days ago. But early this morning, something crazy happened. Uh, some of the women who followed him went to the tomb, but they didn't find his body. They saw angels who said Jesus was alive. And then some of our friends went to the tomb. They saw it empty, too. Cleopas and Micah glanced over at the stranger to see how he would take the story. How foolish you are. Excuse me? How long it takes you to believe all that the prophets said. Didn't the Messiah have to suffer these things and then receive his glory? Uh, what? Cleopas and Micah were floored. The stranger had started out by asking them questions. Now it appeared he was schooling them. The whole story is laid out already in scripture and everything written by Moses and the prophets. The stranger reminded them of scriptures they had heard since they were children. Words written thousands of years before showed how Jesus will be born how he would suffer, and how he would die. So you see, things were supposed to happen this way. This is incredible. You're saying that God has been planning this day for thousands of years? Yeah, but if that's true, then you're saying Jesus is alive? As the stranger smiled at them, Cleopas and Micah realized they had reached Emmaus. Oh, uh, this is us. The stranger nodded and kept walking. Wait, stay with us, it's, it's nearly evening. The stranger joined them at the place they were staying and sat down to dinner with them. This looks like a really fresh loaf of rye. You wanna bless the food? The man took the bread and looked up to heaven. Thank you, Father. Then he broke the bread, giving each of them a piece. It was then that God had opened their eyes. Cleopas and Micah saw clearly who this man was. Jesus? It's you! As soon as the men recognized him, Jesus disappeared from sight. That was real, right? Yeah, Jesus broke this bread. He gave it to us. I think deep down I knew it. He <sighs> explains to us what the scriptures meant. Weren't we excited as he talked with us on the road? We have to tell everyone. Right now. The men were far too excited to wait until the morning. Now, even though it was dark now, they raced the entire way back to Jerusalem. When they reached the place where the disciples were staying, the men could barely contain themselves. What's going on? Are you okay? We have seen Jesus. He's alive. Jesus' friends gathered around as Cleopas and Micah shared the whole story. 
they were amazed to discover how much bigger God's story was than they expected. 